what is going on today guys slim here from GC gaming and I was just going back through some old comments on my videos because I did not have the notifications on to see when I got them and on one of my old drifting videos someone asked me to try to drift the bison now when I read this I thought it was a car and then I got online and went to the website and it is a pickup truck so we're gonna try to find one and give her a gander on the drift track and if I don't find one I guess I'm gonna have to buy one should be a little bit interesting I have never I don't even think I've ever driven the bison I've seen it uh, it might be um, I've seen them on these boats but it just seems to be bobcats today I hope I find one because they cost like 30 grand and I really don't want to waste 30 grand at the moment. And whatever it costs to upgrade it, but if need be I will. I'm going to check over by the mod shop and then I might head towards the city on that one road because I think I've seen them down there before. No bison man, that's odd. Well, I'm gonna go check by that road. Alright, after many, many minutes of searching around the map, there was not a bison in sight. So I just spent $30,000 and bought one. And it should be delivered real soon. All right, one dark black bison. Well, I guess it take it for a little. See how it actually saw. I guess maybe it might slide. I still don't have a whole bunch of faith in it. I doubt we can do anything to this truck. Engine, 16,000. Suspension will put sport on, I guess. Transmission will max. Turbo will put on. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. Wheel, wheel tight, muscle, chrome. Those look sort of trucky, I guess. Let's put those on.
those really aren't important. Let's see if we can do any cool respray. Control room, I guess I'll put on. Doing the pearlescent glitch right now. Did get a cool color on here? That looks kind of cool. Do that, I guess. Alright. Wasn't much to do, so I don't think I missed anything. So we're gonna go try to drift it, I guess. We're not even gonna take it around the parking lot. I'm just gonna load up the drift section. I just gotta see what class of thing this is in. After about a half an hour in the creator trying to get the van class to work, I finally got in here. Whatever Rockstar did in the Cunning Thumbs update has fucked that all up. But, anywho, I made it in here. This truck looks... I don't even know how to describe it. The color kind of looks brown now. I'm not a fan of that that much, but let's drift it. A lot of wheel spin. I'm digging that. Uh, it really dies down on the power, but it is a pickup truck, so. There's a lot of e brake involved in this. Oh boy. Just a little wall tap, boys. Nothing major. I don't know, I'm gonna try a different approach. I don't know how to do this. That sorta of worked, I guess. I don't know what I did there, but that had a lot more power than my other one, too. Things are not going well for my dodge. Not the worst car in the game though for drifting I guess. It sounds cool, I like that. Things have gone bad, chaps. Oh, those two corners were kind of linked together, I guess. Alright, I'm going to try something here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I don't know if it works with every vehicle, but I'm going to try to stance it. Doesn't look like it's doing anything, but who knows? I 
I'm still not even counting how many I'm putting into this. Right, let's see if that does anything to help the drifting ability. Not seeing any big improvements in all honesty. I think that might have actually made it worse. I feel that I took a wrong, nope, I'm on the right. I don't know why I felt like I took a wrong turn though, but there we go. Oh, here's kind of decent. Just go around one more time for fun. Like I said, it's not the worst vehicle I've tried to drift in all honesty. There's a nice wall path. All right. Not the worst vehicle I've had on the course, but I think the two runs were enough to prove that the Bison is not the greatest drift car in the game. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. If there's any other vehicles you want to see go around this course with me driving, leave them in the comment section below.